Hey, good morning. Well, it all changed this past Saturday. That's when volunteers said that they got a call from ICE telling them that they had right around 60 people that they had to drop off. And really since that day, the Benedictine Monastery, it's been sheltering asylum seekers pretty much every day. Now, initially volunteers, they thought that the monastery could house right around 40 people. But after doing some reorganizing, they actually realized that it could hold a little more than 100. Now, right now, organizers and volunteers are really working on figuring out some of the kinks of the space, what works for them, what doesn't. Now, in order to do that, they've actually been moving migrants to other shelters after spending only a few nights here at the monastery. We are sending families right now to other shelters in the community as we're still trying to get situated and getting the processes down pat. You know, doing it in four days, there's some things that we can fix. But that's been amazing to see the participants and their patience really on helping us out. Now, the majority of the migrants who've been dropped off here at the monastery so far are from Guatemala and a good amount of them, they do speak indigenous languages. So one of the big hurdles for volunteers has been figuring out how to get over that communication barrier, which they actually have a pretty good hold on now. They've actually all been working together, trying to figure out how to communicate with one another. Now, yesterday when I visited the monastery, there were only about four families here and this was yesterday morning, uh, but volunteers, they said they were expecting ICE to do another drop off yesterday afternoon afternoon. Now, Diego, the man who is the lead coordinator for the monastery, he also said that they do expect to be housing some of these asylum seekers here at the monastery until May of this year. For now, reporting live from Midtown, Veronica Costa Kaga 9 on your side.